here in Vilnius. And what part of our people and culture have we lost? And I imagine that somebody tells it to audience. So they are, they are telling to the audience and they turn around and they become in the situation which they talk about. But it, it should look like the, you know, in the mist, in the fog, like like Chagall, yeah, through the mist, uh, like Chagall's painter paintings. Very good. Good idea. Good idea. Do we have to? I see that, but but how? <laughs> Maybe this I don't I don't know. With Sukalba, what Rikis does to Rikis Sukalba keep Kalbet. With speaking, with language, how to to how to express to solve it. Speech. If we act Jews, we do act Sukim. It will be funny, although there are some comic. Situations in the book. But they're also, beside being sad, they're also very, uh, beside being funny, they're also kaip, sad. Kaip what šitas, uh, liud, uh, liud, pro, pro, pro How to see the, the sad um, bottom of the story through the comic. Yeah. But you know, uh, it, you're right. I mean, I think, yeah, you don't want to be playing types. Yeah. There's types yeah. mm -hmm. of Jews. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think the Yiddish theater did play types because mm -hmm. that was their idea of playing, I think, some of the theater. Though we should say that the American Yiddish theater, and some, I think, some of the European theater, was where more serious actors in New York and in the United States, John Barrymore, the famous actor John Barrymore, said if you want to see serious acting, go to the Yiddish theater. So it was not all, mm -hmm. uh, you know, not all that. Some of the greatest actors, Stella Adler, Paul Muni, came directly from, uh, and all the teachers, Lee Strasberg, all came from, from the Yiddish theater. So they were also dealing with this problem, with this, this thing, how to make people, uh, you know, in the Yiddish theater, they studied exactly the town that they come from. They had their own speech, and they, each town had its own songs, and each town had its own language, mm -hmm. and they specialized in, yeah. in uh, of course, Rick Tangoff did this too. He had the same problem when he was doing the Dybbuk, you know, in Russia to, to but you still have to, Embrace the actors have to embrace uh, uh, that the characters are a community of Jews. Mm -hmm. and if you did a, a, a community of gypsies, mm -hmm. a, a community of Mormons, mm -hmm. a community of Muslims, you have to embrace that they you don't have to be cliche, but we still have to embrace that they are mm -hmm. uh, similar in some have you know. So, something so the actors have to get some Jewish uh, character without, but that doesn't have to be the cliche. It should be real. Mm -hmm. you know, it should be real. Mm 